Hello, everybody. It's Bishop Deb. And I am coming to you from outside our old house on Gate Street. Beautiful 172. Oh, I miss that place. But I didn't come to visit the house. I came to visit the tree across the street, which is um, a flaming red maple. It's going really red right now. We would watch it year after year as it took its journey from green to red. And half of it's already missing leaves, so I don't know if it started early or what, but right now it's red. I took a picture, and, you know, I haven't checked in for a while. Um, lots happening, lots going on in life, and it's important to um, take some time to just take some time. I've been doing podcasting, though, um, doing a lot of uh, Just Beachy with Deb and Wendy. Look that up with Sister Wendy. Uh, we have fun. We just I just edited a quiz that we did, and oh gosh, we I was killing myself laughing as I was editing it again. I think you'll enjoy it. Um, and I have been working on a new website. Yes, another one. Uh, when Jean and I first moved to Newmarket, God, twenty years ago. No, 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 twenty five years ago, something like that. Um, We had a place called the Inner Resource Center. It was in a beautiful Victorian home. Um, We had a parlor. We had workshop space. It was a very expensive place to live, but we had so much fun there. We did a, uh, we had a kindred spirits group where people, women, mostly women, would come every week and we'd chant and we'd sing and we'd drum and that was, oh gosh, that was fun. And we'd have workshops. We had people that uh, were associates of the center who did grief therapy and color energy and, oh, feng shui and gosh, so many beautiful people we met and friends we made. And that was such a, a wonderful time of our life. Uh, then SARS hit, and then they dug up our street. So the universe was sending us a message that we needed to move. And so we ended up here in Niagara on the Lake. But that time was so... I remember we had the grand opening of the Inner Resource Center, seeing the pictures the other day. And we had dear friends who are lifelong friends. You know, they're always there. We might not connect as often as we did back then but still consider them very close. And so what I've done, because I've been really struggling, to be honest. The Angel Ladies was such a big part of my life and Jean's life, and now that she's no longer here, and she was really the driving force. I mean, she was the star of the show. Um, uh, it, It just seems wrong or ingenuous to be the Angel Ladies when... Um, Jean is no longer present, although her spirit is. I got to tell you that. Uh, so, I've gone back to the inner resource days and thinking now, how can I carry on and be authentic and and do what I can do and do best and help people carry on the mission of the angels, which is to um, help people feel better, bring them comfort, let them know that they're not alone. You know all those good things. Is myself and you know the former angel lady perhaps but always part of my life um so i have uh, been working on a new website for the inner resource center online and that i feel very good about i feel that that was probably an idea sent from heavenly sources likely jean to uh, help to continue our work so i've got it finished the inner resource center.com and it's an RE center, like Canadian, the Inner Resource Center, RE dot com, and <clears throat> so I've been building it. Um, I'm actually coming out with some workshops. Our old workshops are being resurrected, so to speak, and uh, they are wonderful. There, it's a series of three. You need to take all three for it to make sense. If you can't just jump in with three, number three. So we do a little intro to angels. We get you comfy. We do some meditation work. Um, the second workshop is about hearing them, coming to understand how to communicate with them. Third one is about messages. Uh, it, it, each one you can see builds on the other. So by the third, you're going to be fairly comfortable um, hearing uh, your angelic 
messenger is talking to you in different ways. Um, it's, it's not always an easy course. People sometimes have a little bit of time connect, try, t- a trying time connecting. But I don't think anybody that's taken the course has left unconnected, or disconnected as it were. So I think this is going to be fun. I can do this. I have led them by myself before. And I know that Jean is there. You know, little winks and nods from heaven. Things happening that are unexplained. My sister Wendy, this is weird, and I don't know if this was Jean or not, but um, I've been having allergies that time of the year. <clears throat> really block sinuses and that kind of thing. And I got a TikTok from my sister uh, earlier in the week, and I, I opened it, and she's usually sending me little funny things or, you know, the tarot card of the day, that kind of thing. And this was somebody that I follow on tic- on, on Instagram, um, helping with um, pressure points, <clears throat> and was showing pressure points that I didn't know about to open up your sinuses and help decongest you. And so I thanked her, <laughs> sent her a note thanking her, and she said, I'm confused. I said, well, you sent me a thing from TikTok. She said, uh, no, I didn't, not today. And she sent me a screenshot of her TikTok, uh, and there was nothing to me. And yet I shared a screen with her saying, Wendy Beaton, you know, TikTok, and, and the, the link. So that is a mystery to me, that something can get sent from somebody's account that was helpful for me in the way that I needed it. it sounds like Jean to me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not discounting anything. <laughs> we have experienced some pretty interesting things in the course of our angel lady life together. So who knows? But I, I do feel her uh, spirit very much present. Initially, I couldn't. I was quite distressed about that. You know, April, May. It wasn't until actually recently that I started to attune to her um, energy. <clears throat> would be the easiest way to say that. And I think we did a workshop at Prokhov, Ira Prokhov, where we could, he taught us a, a journaling t- technique where you can tap into anybody or anything's energy. Uh, very um, Jungian, but also very, you know, you're kind of getting into a sweet spot of spirit um, where everybody connects. And so you can talk to um, any historical figure. You can talk to parts of your body. You can talk to uh, inanimate objects. It, it's it's quite a strange and wonderful thing. And it's very effective to pull out information um, to help you in your journey, in your life path, or to help with a problem or whatever. So... I kind of used that to talk to Jean recently, and I got answers that were not from my head. So I'm not so sure that the Inner Resource Center online wasn't hatched because I had that encounter. But it just seems right. It, it It's absolutely a wonderful thing. We love that, the building. We love the, the vision. We love the people that were... Uh, taking part in it. And so, you know, this is the next step for me, I think. So you're going to be seeing stuff from the Inner Resource Center. Uh, I'll be doing our workshops, the ones that we wrote together for sure, um, with a bit of a spin. I'm also going to be doing uh, some um, prosperity workshops and looking at spirituality. I'm offering as services the things that I do, uh, which is long distance healing. I do that over Zoom and some spiritual direction of some sort and still with the amulets, the angel amulets. And I can do a meet your angel reading. I'm not like Jean. She was just uh, so gifted as far as channeling things. I get impressions and images. <clears throat> and many times I have, um, we've tag teamed and, and been very effective. So I'm on my solo flight now, and I maybe not. Maybe there are going to be impressions from, from Jean from Spirit because she's still probably pretty active and, and interested in that way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Goodness. So that's where I'm at these days. I hope that you are well. 
we are praying for the the world for for um people that have been affected by all the hurricanes and poor weather oh my gosh it is just out i don't know it's so hard to uh, imagine and you know the suffering the emotion that's coming from people the, the fear the worry the uh, desperation uh, from people in various parts of the planet that are are being affected by by violence as well by uh, oppression by war by um, worry and concern on a smaller scale for their own lives um, and, and, and in big ways <clears throat> we um, that affects us that affects us in everything that we do and in every place that we go um, on a on a very personal level because we're all connected. And so at this time, it's really important to pray, to send out your love especially, to send out um, messages of, of love and affection for the world, praying for everybody, praying that, that hardened hearts would be converted to love, that people would know peace, that they'd know plenty, that they'd know all the things in life that uh, bring comfort, that bring hope. Um, it's it's really important that each and every one of us sends that positive vibe out, like a radio signal, throughout the day. You know, better days, good, good days are here, um, peace is here, love is here, hope is here. Uh, visualizing people shaking hands, walking with their arms around each other. You know, um, those uh, that's a very powerful thing for us to do, even if we might not even feel it as it leaves us, you know. But our hope are att- attached to the words that we, our intentions, very powerful. So I encourage you to do that. I know that we're all praying, and that we want better for people. Um, you know, we're... we're we are so blessed. And as we come up to Thanksgiving weekend here, um, all the more reason to express gratitude and express love and and be thankful for the things we do have. That's where we start. When we, when we are thankful for the things that we do have, more good things come to us. It's the law of the universe. So I am going to say goodbye. Oh, the sun just came out and hit my tree. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love that tree. Um, do that today for yourself. Find something beautiful and focus on it for a while. Let it lift your spirits, whatever it may be. Maybe it's looking at the face of your beloved. Maybe it's one of your your beautiful pets, companion animals. Maybe it's, you know, looking at the window at your garden or at the lawn or at the sky. The sky is so blue today. It's just beautiful. There's so many ways that we can lift our spirits. Put on your favorite piece of music. Dance. Sing. Singing raises our vibration, um, which is why chanting is so popular. It raises the vibration and brings us into a place of connection. So, oh, I'm so wise today. I will, <clears throat> I've got to go and get some water or something. I'm losing my voice. I will talk to you soon. It won't be as long next time, I promise. God bless you all. Bye.